So really the key point here is that there was more fusion uh, energy in the fusion yield than in the laser energy in. Um, so that just, you know, anything above one, one and above is just, is an achievement. So, you know, of course now people are thinking of like, well, how do we go to 10 times more, a hundred times more? Um, there's always some next step, but I think that's the clear, you know, that's a clear line of, yes, we achieved ignition in the laboratory. Fusion is something that, um, happens actually all around us um you know maybe not on earth but we definitely the heat and the the energy and the light that we we feel and see from the sun is all from a as energy being released by a fusion reaction but i think this definitely opens up a new new possibilities for uh carbon free energy sources so i do think that um you know, based on, well, our energy usage now, but what with the population increases, especially in um, in Asia and in, India, in China and in India, we are gonna see a huge increase in the need for energy. So it's challenging enough to convert our current sources or to change our current sources to carbon free. But then and if we look at like what the increase is gonna be, it's really dramatic what we will need to produce. So I think that what we need is a, um, if we wanna prevent um, further uh, climate change, that we are going to need a diverse options of energy production to deploy and nuclear energy, both fission and fusion really must be a part of that equation that we're not gonna get there with renewables alone. And I think more and more, um, you know, environmentalists are are looking to nuclear to be part of the solution. And, uh, and again, I think that this is, another opportunity that needs fusion is another opportunity that should be pursued um, as our energy, energy needs um, are just increasing.